Uh, zebras are one of the most recognizable animals in the world, with their distinctive black and white stripes and their graceful movements. But did you know that zebras were not always herbivores? In fact, millions of years ago, zebras were fierce predators that hunted and ate other animals. How did they go from being carnivores to vegans? This is the story of the vegan zebras. The ancestors of zebras were part of the horse family which evolved in North America about 55 million years ago. These early horses were small and had four toes on each foot. They were also omnivorous, meaning they ate both plants and animals. Some of them developed a taste for meat and became more specialized in hunting. They developed longer legs, sharper teeth, and faster speed. They also migrated to other continents, such as Asia and Africa, where they adapted to different environments and prey. One of these groups of horses was the zebra lineage, which diverged from other horses about four million years ago. Zebras were among the most successful predators in Africa, competing with lions, hyenas, and cheetahs. They had a unique advantage, their stripes. Scientists believe that the stripes of zebras helped them camouflage in the grasslands, confusing their prey and predators alike. Zebras also had a strong social bond, forming large herds that cooperated in hunting and defending their territory. However, about two million years ago, something changed. The climate of Africa became drier and cooler, and the grasslands expanded. This meant that there was less water and vegetation for the zebras and their prey. The zebras had to travel longer distances to find food and water, and they faced more competition from other predators. The zebras also faced a new threat, humans. Humans were also omnivorous hunters, but they had a powerful weapon, fire. Humans used fire to cook their food, to scare away predators, and to alter the landscape. Fire reduced the cover and diversity of plants, making it harder for the zebras to hide and hunt. The zebras had to adapt or die. They had two options, to become more efficient hunters or to switch to a plant-based diet. Some zebras chose the first option and they became more aggressive and solitary. They developed longer and sharper canines and they hunted smaller and faster animals, such as rodents and birds. These zebras are known as the quaggas, and they lived in the southern parts of Africa. However, the quaggas were doomed. They could not compete with the humans and other predators, and they were hunted to extinction by the 19th century. The other zebras chose the second option, and they became more peaceful and social. They developed flatter and wider molars, and they grazed on grasses and herbs. These zebras are known as the plains zebras, and they live in the eastern and southern parts of Africa. The plain zebras also developed a complex communication system, using sounds, gestures, and facial expressions to convey their emotions and intentions. They also formed strong bonds with other herbivores, such as wildebeests and antelopes, forming large and diverse groups that protected each other from predators. The plain zebras are the vegan zebras, and they are the most common and widespread zebras today. They have survived and thrived in the changing and challenging environment of Africa thanks to their adaptability and cooperation. They are a remarkable example of how animals can evolve and change their diet and behavior over time. They are the vegan zebras, and this is their story. Don't forget to subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching.